Hello guys and welcome to this video. Today we are experiencing multiplayer on Forza. On my review of this game, I didn't I didn't do the fair justice by excluding multiplayer uh, from the review, but today we are experiencing multiplayer and we are doing the qualifier series today. So, I mean my intention is to do more uh, videos like this where there's actual multiplayer but uh, in the qualifiers uh, we didn't I didn't have time to even qualify for this race so here we go first race this is online and I was terrified because I was I didn't know what to expect from online so I take it nice and easy in the first corner, everyone just bumping each other. I came down to last place. I touched the curb there. But yeah, I, I didn't do the fair justice by excluding multiplayer on my review. I, I felt sh I felt sorry for that. So as we have a big cluster of fuck of cars going around. Also, voice chat was in enabled on this one. I don't know. But, uh, but uh, the thing is, I was using my wheel, my Fanatec wheel, uh, and uh, I was kind of petrified because I didn't know what to expect. So we are here on lap 2 again, I just bumped this guy and I, I lost control and I decided to let him pass and I did a mistake by accident. So. <laughs> Uh, what is this multiplayer all about? Okay, it's a ranked multiplayer. You have your safety rating and your uh, f f index rating where the, faster, the more you are up the ranks. The, the rank goes from 1000 to 5000 and the faster you, you are, the more closer to 1000 you are. But uh, I'm a little bit... I was a little bit uh, slow and uh, I did three races on this and I managed to do some editing to just comprehend one hour of recording to like a reasonable state as this guy goes off the track it is all over the place at this point and um, overall it felt quite good it felt quite good this multiplayer system. You have your safety rating, which goes from E to, to S, and then you have your index rating, or I should say Forza ranking, making assumption to I rate, I rating. Uh, your multiplayer index for for. Uh, uh, manage how fast you are so in, in terms of matchmaking you can be a little bit more forgiving and uh, in the touring cars I felt quite at home but the touring cars felt odd to me sometimes it did turn well maybe just because of tire wear I don't know as this guy is really pushing in push me off the track like some drivers are just complete, <laughs> complete a little bit, complete. I don't know. Just overall, they don't know how to, to race. I should say like, they were just bumping each other off and being absolute, absolute uh, morons. <laughs> But in the first race, I did manage to go P4, and I did some achievements. Yay. But yeah, I kind of like this system. It's very, very good. And um, overall, it is a good system if you want. It's, it's a good system if you want to play online without paying ridiculous amounts of money for iRacing because I really find interesting iRacing having this system where you can race online with other people and you have a service and you have a service and whatnot which is 
obviously a great thing. But I'll, but the problem for me with iRacing is because it's subscription based and sometimes when I want to play a game I want to play I want to play it like a, a game where I can pick it up and play without worrying about paying it more than, it, than I probably should yeah that's the problem with iRacing for me it's just sometimes I, I can pick up a game I can pick iRacing but I have but then I don't play it for three two or three months and I'm paying for a service that I I'm not using it uh, that's for me the problem with iRacing and uh, things like that as they go three wide on that corner and I'm nearly making four wide uh, but uh, the problem with that of iRacing is just sometimes sometimes I just want to pick up game and playing without worrying about paying a subscription that's why I didn't pick up iRacing more often because you know it's just for me is I'm more a casual gamer I pick up games I play and you know I want to enjoy myself other than just being a uh, pay a subscription and be there for the time being but yeah uh, but Forza kind of does that brilliantly because I, I paid for the ultimate edition of the game I paid 100 euros yeah but I have features I have things that are right from the get go and obviously they added new tracks, new cars and overall it feels good it's, it's a game that I, I can pick up and play and have a nice laugh and, uh, and in the end I just want to relax a bit now, I just want to race and relax a bit um, overall that's why I love a system like this with Forza, you just pick up, play, don't worry about too much of monetization, to be fair. But uh, uh, it is great fun, I'm, I had incredible battles in here. Obviously, I don't know a lot of the tracks in Forza. I mean, I didn't even know Road Atlanta. <laughs> uh, like, I know the layout, like the layout, I know the layout, but I, I barely touched on it. Even in with Forza Motorsport 7, I barely touched that game because that game was kind of meh for me. Uh, didn't go really felt justice. But uh, the new Forza Motorsport online is pretty good fun. On the single player side, I don't know, it doesn't feel right for me. It doesn't feel right for me on that, this game on single player. It just feels meh. And uh, as this guy overtakes, oh my, he's going for it. But uh, those three cars feel alright, they didn't feel the greatest, but overall felt nice and I can enjoy it the way it handles. But uh, in the end it's just, as this guy just is, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that guy went in for a, an overtake that didn't exist. If gap car, famous last words. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we have a lot of Max Verstappen's and uh, Ayrton Senna's in here. As this guy is a little bit slow. Uh, and also, people 
people on Forza, they can play on an Xbox, they are playing on a gamepad or, or a game controller. I, I, I prefer it on a controller. Or they can be playing on a PC with a wheel. Obviously, there's four, there's wheels for, uh, there's wheels for, uh, I was, well, there's wheels for consoles, but overall, uh, many people can be playing on the console, many people can be playing on PC, both on wheel or on controller, and that, that has a little bit of, uh, I don't know, unpredictability, because some people are using a control, they are not as precise with movements, they are not as, you know, they are not like there, <laughs> to be fair, but overall, it felt, it felt awesome to play on a, on a wheel with, not, with my PC, um, it is a great fun, uh, two races we did, uh, right now we catch a P4 in the first race and a P3 in the second one uh, People were joining and leaving which is okay. I guess I Thought I thought you need to do all three races to even qualify uh, for the multiplayer but overall What what it counts basically is your safety rating how clean you race and overall the s somewhat of the overall pace you have but I felt like racing clean can get you a lot of places uh, if it wasn't for that crash probably, probably would get like P2 or something uh, in that race but uh, on, on this final race was quite interesting only three people joined and uh, instead of doing the whole shebang I just cut off most of the race it didn't felt the need to be a separate video. It needed to be a separate race, like with all the. Ending. It was just me driving around with three people, so it didn't felt just as. It didn't felt like doing much. So overall, I want to talk like the multiplayer is nice, and I loved it. The rank system is nice, and I kind of liked it. I will do more more videos on multiplayer again. Driving around with some different cars, especially GT4 cars, GT4 and GT and TCR cars. That's what I'm most comfortable with, and that's what I'm want to focus on 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 the first few steps of this multiplayer career. And uh, overall, overall it. It's that's uh, that's everything you need to know. It's just it's great fun to have some some racing besides i racing. That is rank system, and you have daily daily racing with different tracks, different things to do, and uh, overall it feels great. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you are having an amazing day and uh, night or whatever you are watching. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye. Good run out there. We finished P1.